Look, I ain't the same when I'm sober Probably got a chip on my shoulder Still mad that my old link is over I want a Mac Black Frog, not a Rover I don't do that, I got a soldier And he got on him, no holster Right then boys, here we go. Full lethals. I haven't seen anyone do this yet. I'm running the new score streak thing, it's called Fighter Pilot, Glide Bomber, and Paratroopers. He's got that new gun. Look how fast the fire rate is, boys. That sounds just like the PPSH. That sounds just like that. This, that, that what? That's got a faster fire rate than PPSH, it just sounds exactly like it. Whatever, but yeah, we're gonna play. So we're playing on some hard point. We're gonna try and get these lethal streaks. See what the streaks are actually like because, not gonna lie, they're all right, but they're not. They're not crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, boys. And I've seen a lot of people saying they're not crazy. So we're gonna try and get these lethal streaks for you. See if we can dominate. We're not gonna play too aggressive. If you didn't know already. A lot of people, especially on these the previous cards, IW, Black Ops 3, and... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna use STG. And AW. People play aggressive. Like... Jetpacks make it so the gameplay is... Oh, my days are... I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know how I killed him. But yeah, people are very aggressive on these sort of cards. And to be fair, I think you can agree with me. I thought it was going to be a campy cod. Modern Warfare and Master, if you played that cod, it is so campy. But it's so slow, that's why. This game doesn't really feel that slow. It feels quite fast paced for a boots on the ground cod. And I like that for a start. Hold on. Is he going to push? If you just take a little back seat. Like I'm. How? How? Sometimes with a hit mark as well. Like how many did I just get? If you just take a little back seat like I'm doing now. Right, we've got the fighter pilot. You're gonna die. Let's go. We're on a blood first, dude. It's a triple. Oh, baby. No, it's a single. That's actually a good streak, though. I'm not gonna lie. The the uh, radius on that reminds me of like the Modern Warfare 2 Pred missile. And this is just like a chopper gunner for two seconds. Like it's got like a, a good uh, radius on the bullets. Like you don't have to hit them bang on, but it's very short. <laughs> 500 kills with a rifle, let's go boys. Try and get these paratroopers. As I said, this I'm out of there. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not involved. Take his STG. Come on. They gone. Ten, that's a ten, let's go. But yeah, like I said, I've seen a lot of people complaining about Oh, I'm not that good at World War 2. I hate World War 2. You've got to give it a chance, like, to just adapt to it. Because it is different. It's a different playing styles, different guns. This guy's going to push. But you just got to give it a chance and get used to it. When I first played Jetpack Cods, I weren't the best. But then I just kept playing it and I got better and better and better. Is this guy going to push or what? You've just got to be a bit passive. Because what I've noticed is... Running around is fun and all that, don't get me wrong. I love running around with PPSH, shredding, and getting a load of kills, but health regeneration is quite slow in this Call of Duty. I think we can all agree on that. It's a little bit slower than usual, you can tell, you can just naturally feel it from playing COD. You don't regen as quick. We're on 15 for 2. Playing very passive, but I want these paratroopers because it's kind of the aim of the video. You know, lethal streaks, how good are they? There we go. Right, the first time I used these on the first day, they were wank. Like, absolutely shit. So keep an eye on the kill feed, because it doesn't really pop up, I don't think. I'm dead. Damn it, man. Max me. No. No recoil. But right, keep an eye on the kill feed, boys. Kill food, kill feed. This is the full lethal streaks you can have in the game. Obviously, you can have artillery strike, but I think I prefer this loadout. There's one kill from the paras. Is that going to be it? Making this video as well, mainly because like it needs it needs fixing, bro. Like in real in like reality, dead. Still, still got one kill with the paratroopers. I think there's one, two. Me owning. Come on, Paras. Do me proud, man. Three. Okay, he's picking up. 
Any more? Or is that it? Three kills, right? So you gotta think. Say, ooh, I like the glide bomb. This is my favorite streak in the game. For how little it is, it's got a very good radius. As is this, this is less than a glide bomb. Three kills, that's not bad. And that only takes 600 points to get. On a game like Hardpoint, let's try to get these paratroopers again so we can have a nice fair test in one game. So the first set got three kills, not the greatest. But like I was saying, I should, get, should have got to the point. These are like the wraps of this game. I think wraps are around the same similar score. Can someone comment down below? 1,250 it is for paratroopers. I believe wraps might be about that. Maybe 1,100. Can't really remember off the top of my head. But you got to think. When you call him raps, you get a fair few kills. From 5 to 15, I'd say. Depending on how like good they go in. So, there's someone else has got paratroopers in my, in my team. Can I call mine in? So, right. Someone's got paratroopers. This is perfect. This is literally perfect. Keep an eye on the kill feed to see if his paratroopers get any kills. One. This is actually couldn't go any better. Now, if I, I've got mine, I can call them in. His paratroopers have still got one kill. Get him, bro. Too many paratroopers. What, like two kills they've got for him now? Come on, boys. I'm going to call mine in. I've never played against paratroopers either, so I don't know how easy they are to kill or what. If you guys have... Played against paratroopers, are they easy? Oh my god, are they easy to kill? Or do they sponge or what? Let me know. So his paratroopers got two kills. Like, do you see what I mean? Let me just call him mine, see what they get. I'm on a 20, holy shit. If I get a vicious. Paratroopers got one, how the fuck is he not dead? Go on, paras. Come on, redeem yourselves. Two from the paras. It's my boy here, look. Three. Did he just scope him then? I'm gonna come with you, para. He's sponging, bro. He's dead. Four from the paras. I'm gonna brutal. If I get this vicious, oh my, hold on. Forget the paras for a sec. What oh am I on? 25? 26, 27. Come on, let me get this. 28. No! 46 and 3. I need just got a vicious end, but like, that's the like that's a good game. 46 and 3, like I can take that. Yes, I was playing passive, but on a game like this, you can. Play the game. I like this play of the game as well. But do you see what I mean? That's a lethal setup. That's the most one of the most lethal you can have in the beta. So boys, I'm just watching this video back now. The actual gameplay you're seeing in the background is my first vicious medal I got late last night. It's playing one body cynical. So yeah, that's gonna play in the background. But yeah, the gameplay we just saw, I wanna do some like analyzing on that. Now, I got 46 kills in total, 30 of them with the STG. I went back and counted. With the glide bomb, I got five kills in three uses. I earned it three times, I got five kills. And with a plane like flying in plane thingy, I called that in three times as well, and that got three. Could have probably got more because the game ended as I was in that flying plane. So between the glide bomb and the plane, that's a total of eight kills. Now, the paratroopers, I earned twice. They got me eight kills. That equates to 46 kills, which is my total kills. 30 with a gun, 8 with the glide bomb and the uh, flying plane, and then 8 with the paratroopers. Now, the glide bomb and the plane only take 600 points and 625 points, I believe, to earn them. The paratroopers take 1,250. Now, in total, calling in 3 glide bombs and 3 planes, they got me 8 kills. Calling in 2 paratroopers have got me 8 kills. For being double the score to earn, you'd think the paratroopers would earn you more kills, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if I've... They just feel like... They feel weak. And I'm going off Black Ops 3 now. I know this is a completely different game, but... Them streaks are very dominant. 
And I think everyone can agree when a Call of Duty has dominant kill streaks that are high to earn, it's very it's very fun to play. Like when you're a public player, it's very fun to earn those streaks and just dominate the game. Now, when we call in raps on Black Ops 3, I'm pretty sure you can average from a minimum of five to maybe 15, 20 kills. If you call them in on Nuketown, bro, right, like it's fucked. But that's what's fun about it. Earning them high streaks and then having them go off. And earning paratroopers twice and only getting eight kills? And then the teammate called him in that game and he's only got two. So three paratroopers were called in and got a total of 10 kills. And the glide bomb and the flying plane put together got eight. Do you know what I mean? I think that I think they need a buff. I think they need to be more dominant. It doesn't really feel like you're getting a kill when they get a kill. It's like the GI unit, I suppose. But when the GI unit gets a kill, you're fully aware. I haven't really got used to World War II yet on the streaks. It pops up at the bottom, but it's just not really like... Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't feel like a kill is being made. So yeah, this is just my opinion on the streaks. Hopefully, uh, Michael Condre or wherever, World War II, Sledgehammer, they sort it out, they buff it up. Hopefully they see this, you never know. But yeah, that's just my honest opinion. I'm a player who likes playing pub matches and I like getting streaks. And you, when you get the streaks, when you earn the streaks, you wanna you want them to go off. And I feel like if they don't add dominant kill streaks, like I'm not talking majorly OP, but ones that can do damage, you know. If they don't have that in the game, it might not be as popular as it can be. This card has got so much potential, I'm telling you. I pray to God that they've got a new kill streak in the game. It makes perfect sense. Obviously, the World War II setting with the Hiroshima bombing. It makes perfect sense to have a nuke, to call it in 25 or 30, whatever. It makes perfect sense. And I think it'll make a lot of people happy and it'll make playing the game more enjoyable. But I don't know. I'm trying to think they're on this realistic like wavelength for the game. I can't really think what else they could have in for kill streaks without getting too unrealistic like it's just the setting of the game comment down below if what you think they could add in there's the vicious medal got that last night big up me but yeah i want you guys to comment down below what other kill streaks they could possibly have in the game i'm hoping this is only like half of the kill streaks in the beta i'm hoping there's another like six or seven maybe ten kill streaks in the actual full game that we haven't seen if not, then we might have a problem. Not a problem, but you know, it might not be as popular as before. But anyway, I want you guys to comment down your opinions about this video on the lethal streaks in the comments down below. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to become part of the Do Gang. And I'll see you on the next one.